Hey guys, it's Nitin here with the Ultimate Ebook Creator again. And in the previous videos, I showed you step by step how easy it is to create ebooks for the Amazon Kindle. Now, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a second powerful tool that comes complete with the Ultimate Ebook Creator. Now, there's no point having an ebook creator if you don't have content right so you need to be able to organize and quickly access content and so what I did was I created a professional database management system which I called the articles uh, database okay so that tool you can access from the ultimate ebook creators tools menu and then you click on the articles database link here so that brings up this new screen and let me just resize it so you guys can see it. Now you can switch backwards and forwards. They both both of the screens float on top of each other, so you can go backwards and forwards. That's not a problem. Okay. So let me just show you this. Now this is an empty database. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some articles so I can show you the features. And then in the end, I'm gonna show you in a second video there is a really powerful feature which is called import articles which allows you to import PLR articles okay so that's in the second video but the first video I'm just going to show you very quickly how easy it is to create um, content okay and how to organize I should say organize content not create so I have a notepad beside me which is outside the recording area that you can't see but um, it's going to provide all the content so I, I don't need to waste your time so the organizer allows you to create what we call categories and child categories so that we can create a top level category for for example let's call this recipes category okay and under the recipes category we're going to have a child category called breakfast so I'm going to create a child category called breakfast and in the breakfast category I'm going to create an article so this is the article section you just right click and you say add article and I'm just gonna call it something like general info okay you can give it some keywords as well if you want to but let's just call it breakfast breakfast I should spell it correctly and click save okay so now we can type in our article in this WYSIWYG editor and I already have some so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy some of this stuff here okay so that's the article selected and pasted in and sometimes we might even want to save an image so let's click on the image icon I thought I had a really nice oh there this one here it's kinda of breakfasty so let's pick that so here you go we've got an article we've got an image going on here and if you click back out here it even tells you the number of the word count I should say in this article so sometimes that's really important where you're looking for an article and you're only looking for say 200 words or whatever so you can search by this and I'll show you the search feature in a second so let's add our first recipe and we're going to add a recipe called perfect scrambled eggs so we're going to we're going to put breakfast here now in the article section I'm just going to go ahead and take my content and paste it in here so that's my second recipe and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an image so right click insert image and I'm going to insert the same thing because it's scrambled eggs okay now what you can do is you can take this and you can change the uh, font I like to keep everything Arial 12 and the reason for that is let me just resize this so I can see this section here yeah okay so the size should be about the Arial the font should be Arial and the size should be about 12 okay and you can also color the sections 
by clicking on this and selecting a maroon or something like that and then we can even put in some bullet points okay so we can format this nicely and let's head this section as preparation and also make it look consistent okay so now that we have we have general info we have the uh, the scrambled eggs and we'll enter one more recipe add article we'll call it the mushrooms mushrooms and you can add more if you want here okay so here's our grilled mushrooms and um, we'll add some text so here's the article and then you can go ahead and you can format this you know as you like you know we can say Arial 12 or something like that and you can keep that going um, and you can add as many as you want so here I'm gonna add another a child category called main meals right and and as you can see we're building up our articles uh, in our database and this is actually all this stuff is in a real database it's not on the file system it's actually in a SQL database that um, is part of this product so that's basically it now I have a few really neat features that I want to show you and uh, those are I'm going to show you that in the next video because this is this video is getting a little bit long so in the next video I'm going to show you some of the security features of this okay so we'll see you in the next video